You're exposed. I need a high shock. I need help, Ron by the way. Uh, Bryson, I'm coming to you. Oh, in the garage. He's on white. He's on top white. You have been identified. I'm getting tracked by Jackal. He's pushing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babe, babe. Op four, last operator Yo, DG. So after my settings video, I've had a lot of people ask me what my aim training routine is. So I thought I could make a quick little video for you guys explaining how to improve your aim. So uh, for the first thing, uh, you need to find a good DPI. So the standard is usually either 400 or 800 DPI. Um, I'd recommend picking either one of those. I wouldn't really choose anything else. Um, personally, I plan 400, but this is all personal preference. And in the end, it's completely up to you. So, you know. After you've chosen either 400 or 800 DPI, it's time to find an in-game sense. Uh, I recommend staying under like 20 horizontal and vertical, um, but for ADS, like it doesn't really matter. Um, you just pick anything. You know, a lot of people like Shiko, they'll play in 35 ADS, and you have some other people that'll play in 83, which is like one to one. Um, so it's all up to you. Uh, you just need to experiment and find something you like. Uh, a good way to like find what you like though for your sense uh, in game at least is to go up uh, by one uh, for your vertical and hor horizontal. Just go up by one or go down by one until you find something that you like. Uh, ADS, you know, you're gonna follow the same guidelines. Just go up by five instead of one. Um, so you know, ADS go up or down by five. Uh, just find something that works. And once you find something that you like. Um, it's time to get into the actual like warm-up routine. So the first thing I start with would be practicing your 360s slash 180s. You know, I found that after I've signed TN for a little bit and I've practiced my 360s, my aim's actually like a lot better once I go into ranked. Um, once you get like your near perfect 360s uh, consistently down like multiple times in a row, um, I, you could probably say that you found a good sense slash DPI and you're warmed up pretty good. Uh, and you can probably like queue up ranked at that point uh so the third thing um i'd recommend playing bomb on t hunt or uh yeah bomb and plane on t hunt um the reason i say bomb on plane specifically is because of how the map is structured so plane is like a super linear map it's basically just like a huge hallway uh so it's like the best map to just practice 180ing uh, once you, you know you can plant the bomb and you'll have a, you know enemies coming from in front of you and behind you You don't really ever have anyone come from the sides. So you can just sit there and practice 180 back and forth uh, So that's I'd recommend doing that um, So for the fourth thing here um, I took this from Meepy. Uh, he's a pro player for team secret. So you know, shout out to him for this um, He's got some goat streams. He like explained this in a stream and I kind of stole it from him. So um, a big part of like aiming and everything is, is your recoil control. So if you can learn to like laser your guns and you can learn to control recoil super well, uh, your aim is going to become much better because at that point you're going to be focusing so much less on controlling the recoil of your gun and more on just aiming. So a good way to do this, uh, is to like practice your recoil is to change up your attachments. So what I mean by that is like whatever operator you main, uh, and whatever like gun you use the most on that operator change your attachments So normally most people run like a flash hider uh, or a compensator which reduces the recoil um, And like maybe a grip what I would do instead change your barrel to a suppressor and Change your grip to a uh, angled grip and if the gun doesn't have an angle grip go ahead and throw on a um, Just throw on no grip no grip at all uh, What this is gonna do this is going to increase the recoil of that gun significantly. So at that point, you can go into the map, uh, kind of just run around, full mag everybody. Don't try one tap. Uh, just shoot as many bullets downrange as you can. Um, and another thing you could do with this, you could just spray at a wall. Uh, just, just full on spray at a wall and try and control the recoil the best you can. Um, and basically what this is going to do is uh, once you put on your normal attachments, so your your flash hider, your vertical grip, um, you know whatever it may be. Uh, once you put those stuff that stuff back on, your recoil it's gonna be like halved pretty much, right? Because the suppressor and the angle grip or the no grip just doubled your recoil. So once you put on your real attachments, you basically have halved your recoil, and you were just getting used to double the recoil. So we are pretty much gonna be lasering that gun now. Um, 
So like I'd recommend playing either like IQ with the 552 commando um or maybe even buck. Like those two operators those guns at least for me have a lot of recoil, especially with the suppressor and the no grip or the angled grip. Uh so after I've done that with like especially with like buck, after I can master it with the scuffed attachments and I go back to normal attachments, I can just laser everything. Um and my aim just is so much better. So I'd recommend doing that for reco control 100%. Uh, so the fifth thing, um, a lot of people, you know, they underestimate when they're going to be using their secondaries and matchmaking, like in ranked and everything. So you need to make sure you're practicing with your secondaries, um, you know, using your pistol, your SMG 11, whatever it may be. Um, so just make sure you run some T-hunts with your pistol. Like do you just do a pistol only T-hunt, you know, do a couple of them. And uh, this is also really good to do one taps with as well. You can run in and practice quickly one tapping um, as many people as you can. And just don't worry if you die. It doesn't matter. You just respawn, go back in. Not a big deal. Just run in as quickly as you can with the pistol. Try and one tap. Because um, like there's no recoil with the pistol. So there's no point trying to you know, spray a bunch. Just try and go for quick one taps. You can flick with the pistols too. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, so my last thing for the warm-up, uh, for the whole, like, warm-up routine here is to play Sledge. Uh, the reason I say Sledge specifically is because Sledge has, you know, his L85, you put an ACOG on it, and then his SMG11, you put a hollow on. Um, so that's super important because your, your ADS sense is different between ACOGs and hollows. ACOGs are a little bit slower than hollows and other 1Xs. Uh, so... You know, if you play with Sledge, you get to practice with both of them. Uh, so when you go into ranked, it's going to help a lot because defense doesn't have very many ACOGs. So you're forced to use 1Xs, you know, your hollows or whatever. Uh, whereas on attack, pretty much everyone has an ACOG. So if you play Sledge, you can save yourself some time. You're not going to have to go play, um, you know, defense, ter uh, terrorist hunts to practice, you know, Warming up with your uh, defense guns or whatever, right? You're, you're not going to worry about having to warm up with hollow specifically. Um, play sledge, you got the ACOG, you got the hollow. Super important. Uh, so I think that's about all I've got uh, to help improve your aim. These are all things that have worked for me, so I hope they can be of some help to you as well. But always, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
friendly mission successful.